Hello, today is the uh, 6th day of November 2012. Uh, my name is Derek and let's take a look at the uh, gold and a silver market. So it's an interesting day today. As roughly about uh, two hours ago, around 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time, well, everything just starting shooting up. Gold is up now close to 2%. Silver's up a little bit more. At this time frame, the oil, price of oil went up, commodities, the stock market went up uh, over 100 points on the Dow. The dollar index, it lost a little bit, but nothing major. And TLT, the ETF that tracks the, uh, I think, the 20-year note of the U.S., barely going down a little bit, maybe a half a percent, but not that large of a magnitude. Anyway, here we go. See this level of resistance or potential resistance? It wasn't such. How about this uh, potential level of support? Well, it didn't have a decent pierce below it, but it still managed to, at this point, look like it's going to show big support. Now, this move is just coming through. So what's hugely important with this declining 18 average is for it to successfully retrace after it's completed this bull day, bull week, whatever it is. Meaning, if it stops out right now, it really needs to hold 61.8% or less even, or at least not give back more than 61.8% of the rally or 62, 65 from this high to whatever happens to be and this low. So if it comes back and does something like that, that's fine because it's just important to make that higher no, higher low and around 60, 65% is decently, it's noticeably a higher low when it's only that percentage. This 18 average needs to flatten out and then start a higher movement. So after this move, if it consolidates in the low 1700s for a couple of days, that can be uh, very strong to say the least. Let's now move this on to the weekly time frame and this is what we got. So I've been talking big about this resistance level hit on three occasions. Of course, the last two times that I hit resistance, it failed to find support at the last two levels. The first time it broke through it, the second time it found resistance at that level instead. Now it's a little pierce above this mark. So again, making a higher low would make an amazing pattern if it gets back up to this top. For example, you come up here again, and if you pull back something like that, then it just really makes it a very strong pattern. You're still looking, of course, for it to have a clear break really above this level. Yes, the Fibonacci mark is at 1758, but we'll go 1800 even because that has been the level hit three times. It's also an even psychological number. If it can hold uh, or stay above 1800 for more than, for most of the most part, for more than three days or so, it looks really good. And most part means maybe 80 to 90 percent of those three days it trades above 1800. That would be really, really huge. But for now, this uh, is how this is looking with this 18 average. It's rising. So for this thing to break down, you need this thing to uh, flatten out and then maybe have a move, something like this. And of course, when you're looking at this on a bullish level, you're back within the correctionary phase. So it needs to have a nice pattern of breaking above this high. That's why the higher low would be so huge if it comes back higher like this and matches up within this 18 average low and then goes higher beautiful setup of course if that's the case let's move this on to silver so gold for the week is up 2.3 percent we'll keep that in mind when we look at the silver weekly which we'll do now it's up 3.88 percent so that i'm not going to show the gold to silver ratio today i will later this week or on the weekend but it's obviously going lower because silver's having a better week so far same thing with this 18 average band it's coming back to this rising level now it's a determination to see how this thing is going to play out. You do have a rising lower band, a rising upper band, and this is giving good signs that uh, things should be playing out fairly good on the up level note over the next uh, few months, basically. Let's move this on now to the daily chart, and silver's up close to uh, 3% for this day. You could look like a potential pierce below this level. And 
that's a large pierce. Therefore, early on, I'm looking at this as a possible, that's the key word, possible, failed breakdown. When you move down fast like this, have a decent move. That's pretty much close to a 50% retracement. And then just break through it fairly or relatively quick then those are the types of things that I'd be looking for. It has to get above this significant high, same thing with this average, and going sideways and then uh, rotating higher. As far as the bands are concerned, these bands are both declining, which means it's still in that of a bear market. However, it's, it might not be too far away from switching over, because when these bands are down together, I consider it bearish. When they're up together then I consider it to be bullish. If, for example, if this band is going straight and this one's going down, that is neutral with a down bias. If, say, the upper band is up and the uh, lower band is up and the upper band is up, that is up or neutral with an up bias. And when they are either uh, decline in that situation, or if they're both going, one's going higher, one's going lower, it's in a neutral phase, ready for a big breakout. So that's the key thing within these bands. But I do see this starting to uh, turn towards a possible up move. But you would expect the lower band to go up first, as this one may be going sideways. Move this on to the hourly chart. This will be the final chart for the day. So this is the move right here. Now on the weekend, I showed the hourly chart before stating that I figured if there was any more downward move that it would be enough where this line would have matched up here actually. And when it hit this bottom, I felt, because that's where it was, it was 3150 when it hit this bottom, this Fibonacci line. I figured at that point there was a good shot that those were in for the day. I stated that on a comment Sure enough, they were. And then you had another test below it, which is really showing that failed possible breakdown. Earlier today, when it came up to this level here, it found nice resistance, but there's the uh, moving back within this upper band and then having your clear breakout with no resistance in this level. Now, I was also mentioning, too, that one of the plays would have been to short at 31.52. And even if you played a little more aggressive in here, here's the news, you lost. That's pretty much it. If you're holding on, don't know why. Maybe you're going to place a stop up here now that you've established a form of resistance. But when you don't find resistance here, and it just breaks through, you got to tell yourself, okay, okay, wait a second. Why haven't we found resistance? Is this telling us we're going to have a move maybe up to this level and even break it, do something like this, and then boom, up we go. Anything in that type of nature, it's possible. But it's something now you got to look out for when you didn't see this level as resistance. It hasn't even been support as of yet on this channel, meaning short term. If you're looking to get in on a rally like this and you don't want to chase it, I would say, well, if you're waiting for a pullback and you want to know what the level is, 31.89. I don't know if it's going to come there, if it's going to hit to that point. But if you notice that it breaks above this resistance later this afternoon, then you've seen that it's had a pullback from about 26 cents to about 5 cents, so about almost a full percent. And a decent amount of time, it's been about an hour or so going sideways, I guess. So therefore, as it's breaking above, that it may be good not only to find little to no resistance here, but be able to break out just a little bit higher and then of course adjust the message of the market to the more longer term time frames as that's the gold yeah that's silver just the message of the market to the longer term time frames and of course start to play from this high to this low thank you for tuning in